Now, this is not the normal hookah do, but uh, that's just for so I can test it out. But uh, I think it turned out really good. There's something I want to point out here. You can see where I started, and you can see that first little bit up to that individual line. You can see how some of the stain was uh, wanting to lay back down on it, and now it's not. Well, the difference is, once I saw that stain wanting to lay back down on it and uh, cause a mess, two things I did. I went ahead and paused it, and I coated the rest of the uh, work piece with um, Dawn dish soap. Just put a real light layer on it. That's going to keep down on the soot. And then the other thing I did was for the rest of my bed, I went ahead and grabbed a few other pieces of uh, just spare stock and uh, covered up the rest of the bed to create a vacuum table. And now that smoke is evacuating so much faster. You can see how much quicker it's pulling off in the back. And that's giving me those uh, nice clean stars now. So something you might uh, want to take a look at. Because I've moved this piece, um, I am gonna go ahead and put their name on it. Um, but I have moved the piece, so I just reset the origin. And based on that, um, I've just basically taken that particular stripe of the flag and um, created, made sure to select that as a frame and then just set my origin on that top left on that stripe. And you'll go ahead and do the letters. Um, so ultimately, here's kind of what the flag will look like. Um, except with the name on it and uh, so we'll go ahead and send that over to the laser now. What I'm going to do to get this slightly out of focus is I just make it so it just wiggles just a little bit in there. Um, not much but maybe uh, just a little wiggle and uh, now we'll go ahead and see what we can do. I've got uh, Origin, frame it again. Perfect. Yeah, and hit start. I've got this on that same uh, 800 speed and 30 power, but I've got it slightly out of focus because I want the darker char on these letters. So. Um, also, I've got it at the 800 speed, 30 power. Um, but I've got it set at 0 .080 on the uh, line interval, so take a little bit longer, but um, we'll get a little more of that contrast force. Okay, just hit finish. A couple things I want to show you. Um, one, baby wipes. Another, if you want to keep the soot down in there, just get some baby wipes and you can just wipe off the face of it real quick. Bada boom, bada bang, bada boom. Now, the other thing I'm going to do with this one is, um, see that kept that contrast in there really good. The other thing I'm going to do on this is I'm actually going to um, cut out behind this plaque. I'm going to come in, I'm going to do an offset by about a quarter inch, and um, I'm going to cut a hole. I want the outer edge to be able to be support. I'm going to start a, an inner, uh, an inset cut, and then inside here I'm going to come and do another one, and I'm basically going to be cutting in a piece of acrylic, and I'm going to put it from behind, and I'm going to try and take this little uh, LED strip, 
and put it inside that inner donut and see if we can do a back lid behind it. Hadn't done one before, but we're gonna try it out. All right, so I've got this on um, 20 speed, 100 power. I did take off the honeycomb bed, um, as you probably noticed in other videos uh, previously tonight. I've got those off because I watched a, a video from Russ Sadler where um, he talked about the smoke below the acrylic. So I wanted a cleaner edges on this. So what I did was uh, go ahead and remove the honeycomb bed. I had actually cleaned my laser over the weekend. So instead of putting it in, I knew I was going to be trying this out. So um, that inner hole is right at three inch diameter. That outer hole is at 7.9. And the intent is my other, the hole on the flag is right at uh, eight inches. Um, uh -oh. I didn't cut through. All right, so here's the plan for the uh, backlit LED. We're gonna take this. Hiya! <laughs> Original piece, eight inches. Um, traced line on this, 7.5 inches. Cut inside, six inches. Um, cut that piece out. Took the uh, acrylic. Once I cut that out, I think this was done at uh, like 7.9. And then the inside was at three and I've got my LED with a little battery and uh, I'll just glue that in. Now I did sand the acrylic at 220. You can use 120, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but I wanted it to diffuse light a little bit more. And I also sanded the outside edges again to try and diffuse some of that light. But on the inside edge, I want it to uh, be very reflective. So what I'll actually do is take a propane torch and go around the inside real quick just to make sure that it's uh, glass smooth. And by hitting it with uh, a flame, it'll it'll clear that right up. But um, I want it clear on inside so all the light comes out and then diffuse as it comes out. Um, put that piece on top and have the little battery LED behind it. And we'll see where we go from there. it up. Acrylics glued to the uh, bottom panel. About to put this one on. Got the activator on this one and the glue on that one. About to uh, set it in place. Got this piece cut in um, two and a half inner circle. I'm gonna keep going. There it is. <coughs> um, two and a half inner circle and eight inch outer circle. Um, forgot I got this layer set to uh, two passes, so I'm going to stop it once it makes it once around. Um, the intent is the two inch, or uh, two and a half inch, is going to help cover but still provide access to the battery inside. So um, this is going to kind of hide that whole opening from the side, allow enough room for the battery in the back to sit between the layers. So, um, show a look here in just a second. Now, this is just not the normal hookah do, but uh, that's just for, so I can test it out. But uh, I think it turned out really good. 